Alright guys, so uh, right now I am changing the uh, idler tension air pulley on the air conditioning system on the AC belt down here. Um, right now it's completely off, so let me see if I can find the old one. Here was the old one. I'm gonna give it a little spin here, but uh, yeah, this sucker is not spinning at all. It's, it's completely jacked up. Um, it was making a whole bunch of noise, so this one's going off the car, and we're putting this brand new one on that spins pretty damn freely. It looks cool too. Um, so yeah, we're putting that on. Uh, it's a Duralast one. It's not the OEM one, but I had a uh, gift card at AutoZone, so I chose to put that one on. And of course, whenever you're dealing with an older car, whenever you take that off, you are going to snap this little guy, which is a little ring here that fits on here and then you put the uh, little bolt that goes through it in there and obviously since this looks to be just plastic in here it's not metal obviously um, that just snaps right off of down here where it uses the uh, tension to adjust it so we gotta buy a new one of those super one it's like eight bucks online so new one of those cleaned up all these bolts here uh, this one's still pretty nasty so I'm gonna see if I can get a replacement one for that laying around the garage here but um, I did take a look at my belts. These are brand new ones I got. Try not to contaminate them with any uh, PB blaster or anything, but uh, they're the stock ones. The uh, not Mitsubishi, but the Mitsuboshi ones. Uh, they come on all the stock Subarus whenever you get them. Uh, right now, I just have an old one from my '95 on there because whenever I took this all off, the um, two belts that were on there were really really bad I don't know if, even if I have them laying around here anymore I think these are two yeah these aren't them but you could even tell especially in these um, little ridges right here I don't know if you can see that but they were really uh, it was really all torn up and literally I mean it probably wasn't gonna snap anytime soon but uh, it was getting there so gonna replace those now um, that's about it hopefully all goes well All right, well, kind of pissed off right now, but put the new one on and went to adjust it. And let me just I think it smudged the camera there. Went to put the new one on, um, got it all on there, uh, went to adjust it, and sure enough, the new one just snapped right off the same way that the old one did. Um, so yeah, here here's the old one, kind of corroded, just snapped right off. Here's the new one, went to adjust it, split right down the middle so that fucking sucks and that's 10 bucks down the drain right there um, so I'm assuming at this point that this thing is just too corroded for it so um, yeah kind of kind of pissed off about that uh, sorry but you shouldn't make a an OEM part that is plastic that holds your pulleys on which you know is supporting 300 horsepower or whatever I mean that's that's fucking stupid actually um, so Subaru you might want to fix these you know that's probably why you got rid of them on the uh, newer models but this this is fucking bullshit so I'm gonna run down the dealer right now and pick another one up 
because I have the part number here and everything. But this is this is fucking bullshit. Seriously, bull, bull fucking shit, and a waste of time. So this is what happens when you work on cars that are old and rusty, and mine's not even that old and rusty actually. So, yep. See you when I get back. Figured I'd get you some YouTube time. Oh, yeah. After, did you see Christina's video I did for her? No. About her mud flaps. Uh -huh. That was ridiculousness. We put her mud flaps on at like. Uh, nine at night like in it was like freezing ass cold out and like um 30 degree weather and she's like can we put my mud flaps on i'm like i guess i'm bringing my camera though on this one yeah so i started like a youtube channel so so i Boom. put a uh, oh shit is, is that too i know, I know. Shit. that was there like, that was there a week after i got it yeah well that i mean you can touch that up if you get it soon enough that's not too shabby but i got it i put a blow on top on and I know GFB? Yeah. I At least that's not one of those shitty ones that... It's not good, but if I only have it open a little bit, you can still hear it. really well and you could hear it. Yeah. I guess if it's not complete, if I it's mostly like, recirculating, you know like what I mean? I have like 10%. Yeah. And like... If you're mostly recirculating, yeah. you're fine. If, it, if you put like, you know, full to atmosphere, like, yeah. <laughs> shit. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Bad. That's what's bad. But uh, I had it at like 50 50. Yeah. And uh, it was running a little rich between shifts, but that was it. Yeah. And then when I closed it up, it, it runs just like normal and you get the sound. Could you tell it was running rich? It would like backfire. It would backfire? Shifts, not backfire, but like pop, pop. But you like I mean? you didn't get any no check engine lights or anything mm -hmm. or nothing like that? Huh. No. But it hurts well, gas mileage. Oh, does it? Yeah. Noticeably? Yeah, like two miles per gallon. Even when you have it just a little bit? Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, right. Well, that's how you can tell it's running yeah. a little bit rich. Yeah. So. And then, uh, what about K&N air filters? Because well, I shit. have one in. Oh, shit. The guy at Bud Bear. No, the only thing with those is... Um, like it does something with the MAF sensor. Yeah, right? it gets it all nasty. It gets all that oil that's on it. Yeah. It gets it all, like, so I got coated it. on there, and then, like, it can't read right. Can so you, then it you like spray it and well you or? can yeah yeah you I'm, can do I'm that I did that on mine yeah. I'm gonna put a dry one in but yeah I definitely suggest a dry one if you I just gotta get some money together if you do anything with it put a dry one in there and just call it a day AEM or something like that okay I think it's time for summer tires I'm so sick of mine my winter ones are so loud they're ridiculous yeah they're so ridiculous. Especially on the highway, they're almost like unbearable. Yeah. Oh well, I'm gonna go back and try to get this thing together. Right, buddy. Nice seeing you. Yeah, nice seeing you. Go take a nap and then. Go I'll take a nap and let me know if you're coming out tonight. Yeah. If we're. What time are you going? It's at seven. Okay. So I mean, you know how that is. Oh, yeah. co come at seven. It's like eight o'clock before anybody shows up. Yeah. Yeah. But. Apparently it's not supposed to be a bunch of ricers and shit like that. Okay, well one trip to the dealer and uh, meeting up with friends uh, down there randomly. So uh, that was that was Joe. Um, I met him through somebody on the forums. Uh, it's actually his brother. He's on the forums too. But um, yeah, we're all we're, we all know each other. We're all friends. So it's pretty common to see people out going to the dealer or wherever. So uh, that was Joe. That's his car. He bought it I think last year. Got some stuff done to it, uh, blow off valve, wheels, uh, mud flaps, things like that. Um, so yeah, um, anyhow, back to what we were doing. I went down and I actually got the replacement again. The damn thing that I broke, this adjuster. It is officially called an adjuster at, per the account. I mean, per the yeah account. There's my accounting coming in, accounting and financial analyst. Um, the adjuster. Um, we even have super nuts. Look at that. Look at that. In a part, little part thing. A nut. One nut for a dollar forty. So I got two of those because um, you need to put those. This is the old bolt that is now nice and hot because I had to force it off. Um, and I got the new long bolt here, uh, flange bolt. Comes the part numbers if you need them. Um, so yeah, we're gonna reuse uh, this nice metal thing because. 
it's just fine. No need to repaint it or anything. Nobody's going to be looking at it. And then over here we have the the new pulley. This one I'm going to be reusing. Everything else can be reused. So try to do this again. Try not to break it. Hopefully, you know, without all the rust buildup on this, it's not going to split the um, adjuster here. Which is dumbass to have this. Whoever made this plastic, you're a dumbass. Um, you're you're a dumbass. Guy in Japan, you're a dumbass. So um, gonna get to work on that. All right. So what I am gonna do this time is I'm gonna thread this a good ways up, um, just so I'm not adjusting it on the car as much. So it's gonna be real loose whenever I go to put the belt on, which is what I want. Um, so that there's no trouble with it, and then. Once I get to adjust it, then we'll just have to cross our fingers and pray that it doesn't snap at that point. But I put a good amount of anti-seize, if you can see that, all on here. So... That should help with it. Um, maybe it'll work miracles, who knows. Maybe I should have did that whenever I started. All right, we're good. Spins, spins, and everything. So, super solid. Gonna go stick her back on now. All right. So as you can see, we got the new pulley on. Um, new pulley down there. New bolt. New nuts. All that good stuff. Two new belts, and um, should be good to go. All uh, right. One big thing: make sure you. Um, these belts don't make them too tight, you'll ruin the bearings and all this good stuff if you make them really, really tight. And obviously don't make them too loose because they'll slip. You don't want that either. Um, and they will, over time, they're going to get, when you first put them on, you have to really, uh, uh, they're going to be pretty tight. But over time, they're going to um, stretch a little bit. So, you know, probably in like um, a few thousand miles, just come back and, you know, just poke on them, test them see how much uh, wiggle room you have in them but uh, other than that right now it looks like I have working air conditioning again hopefully and uh, hopefully we don't start up the car and it doesn't like throw a whole bunch of shit everywhere or break these off it won't but never know um, so yeah just make sure everything's tight and uh, button it all back up